tell me a little bit more about China itself. So, especially during this whole coronavirus, um, let's say pandemic, during the whole pandemic, there's been a huge rush to blame China and talk about, you know, the, um, the authoritarian regime in China and how they, you know, haven't really been too honest with everybody. So what is your take on, on terms of how honest they've been to everybody? Um, yeah. Um, so uh, it's it's quite complicated. Um, you know, uh, China is still a party state, a one party rule. Mm. Uh, the human rights record in China is one of the uh, worst countries in the world. Um, and um, Many uh, human rights defenders, uh, citizen journalists, um, and dissidents were uh, uh, arrested and, and uh, yeah, are imprisoned. Um, so the coronavirus, the uh, outbreak uh, in this uh, January, um, was um, a perfect case that. Um, uh, Chinese government doesn't represent, uh, respect uh, human rights, and um, it reflects um, the uh, governance failure in China. I've written an uh, article um, arguing that um, it's it's um, uh, it's Chinese government government's uh, governance failure that make uh, people um, uh, lose the but it's the time to fight the, the coronavirus. Um, and, um, you know, uh, many whistleblowers uh, were, um, were uh, arrested and, and di or, or disappeared. And uh, some, and, and Chinese government censored uh, the information very strictly. Uh, even today, uh, people are, uh, prohibited from being, from criticizing uh, the, the government or, or telling the truth about the coronavirus. Um, so, and, and um, the Chinese government also um, utilized the uh, te technology uh, to strengthen its total control on uh, the society, on people. Um, so, uh, uh, Chinese government is now uh, strengthening its, um, um, my terminology, uh, high-tech uh, totalitarianism. It's, it's not uh, not an authoritarian, uh, but a totalitarian system. Really? Well, um, I think, it, I think yeah. it's interesting because, you know, people are there are so many things that are kind of like moving and going on that you know the government is trying to take control of for example i, I thought it was super interesting how um on the social media site weibo they um you know that's sort of like their twitter and they were yeah. pretty much i think there were two million likes retweets or um or views of this hashtag we want freedom of speech on weibo and the Chinese government, who actually has control over Weibo, decided that they were going to wipe out all of those tweets, and nobody was allowed to see them. So by the morning, they were all gone. What do you think is sort of the effect on the Chinese people in terms of, I know we're allowed to be able to see this as sort of outsiders, like, oh, yeah, you know, as Americans, we have this freedom of speech, and we haven't had the sort of brainwashing that goes on in the Chinese government. So do you think the Chinese people are really, you know, understanding of what's going on? Or do you think that a lot of them are just brainwashed to the point where they don't understand that there's a freedom on the other side? Um, yeah, in general, uh, the propaganda and brainwashing work by the Communist Party uh, is quite uh, effective. Um, most of the Chinese people, uh, old and young, are um, brainwashed. Um, but um, but since uh, you know uh, early nine, uh, 1980s, um, because of the uh, economic reform and uh, uh, opening up policy, um, many people um, 
got the opportunity to read uh, some some books, some translated books from the West, and um, and there were like a limited space um, for uh, the traditional media and and later uh, the, the the internet, um, and um, so so some some people like me um, um, got enlightened. Um, in 1980s, 1990s, and, and also the first decade of 2000. Um, um, so, and, you know, uh, there, there was a, a democracy movement uh, in 1989, mm -hmm. uh, ended up with uh, Tiananmen Massacre. Um, so, um, so one thing is um, uh, many uh, many people realized the importance of uh, liberal democracy and human rights, um, and they 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 don't believe in uh, the the Communist Party, and they um, 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 like the 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 the, the people uh, who commemorated uh, the whistleblower Li Wenliang. Uh, they uh, they called for uh, freedom of speech on, on Weibo and 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 uh, WeChat, um, but um, but that's still the the minority of uh, the Chinese population. Uh, yes. um, and uh, an, uh, another thing is since two thousand thirteen, uh, when Xi Jinping uh, took his office. Um, the Chinese government uh, censored the information uh, like um, uh, more strictly than before, um, and the the uh, the space the space for the uh, civil society um, has been uh, narrowed very much. Um, so um, so it's um, more and more difficult uh, for the Chinese people to be. Uh, enlightened, and that also means the the propaganda and the brainwashing um, will be more uh, effective. Um, well, do you think? Then we, yeah, yeah. Then we will we, we'll see uh, you know, so many people, that like millions of millions uh, Chinese people um, are supportive the uh, Chinese government handling of uh, coronavirus. And, well, there's also it was a very big yeah. like a uh, negative American sentiment for the coronavirus. I know that first the Chinese government was trying to blame America, then they were also trying to blame Italy. They were trying to blame a bunch of different countries for the coronavirus, and I think I think it was around sixty percent. I saw in a recent poll that they were saying that sixty percent of Chinese people had a very negative view of America. Uh, uh, and their handling of the coronavirus. And I, I think that also definitely plays into sort of like the the battle between the East and the West. I know you were talking about that with the books, right? Where a lot of people were reading Western books, but do you think that the uh, Chinese government is really trying to misrepresent what the West is doing, right? In terms of, uh, what'd you say? No, no, I'm sorry. So yeah, they said, uh, do you think that the Chinese government is really trying to misrepresent what the West is pretty much all about just because of the fact that, you know, they're not really allowing a lot of Western uh, ideas to spread to the East and also they're not allowing people to read Western books and things like that? Yeah, um, so the freedom of uh, uh, information, freedom of uh, expression um, is very much limited in China. Um, China is the, the biggest prison uh, for uh, writers and, and journalists. Um, and and um, so like, uh, like China is one of the two or three countries um, which uh, uh, ban YouTube, Google, and Twitter, Facebook. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so the, the most of Chinese people, the vast majority of Chinese people, uh, cannot access to uh, the 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 information from the West, uh, and and even the the 
uh, the, the current administration um, censors uh, more um, uh, universities and, and textbooks um, uh, and, and publishing. Um, yeah, and another thing is uh, Chinese Communist Party is always uh, using, uh, always uses the uh, the nationalism uh, sentiment uh, uh, to be against uh, uh, the United States and the, the Western uh, capitalist capitalist countries. Uh, um, they, because because the the Communist Party um, can uh, like um, can be benefit from the the uh, nationalism sentiment um they they want to gain more solidarity more loyalty from the people by resorting to um, nationalism so do you think that there's sort of any way that like i know i know there's a lot of protests in hong kong and all that but do you think there's any way that the chinese government uh can really separate from the people and there could be sort of like a coup of the uh communist party um yeah the, the communist party um uh has no uh legitimacy because the, there there is no um free and democratic election so so the political legitimacy is always an uh, issue mm -hmm. um of the communist party and um uh, and the um uh, uh, they rule the country uh, by um, by uh, violence and, and lies. So uh, so they they uh, they will not give up their monopoly on uh, military and uh, and and media. Uh, that's the the two most important things uh, to um, to re maintain and prolong its uh, uh, one party rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the the first priority of the uh, Communist Party is to um, maintain its um, one party rule. It's a, a absolute power. Um, so, um, so uh, they have um, they have clearly uh, refused the effort of uh, demonstration, and they uh, and they will uh, refuse. Uh, any demand uh, from the civil society for um, for uh, a liberal democracy.